Hi everyone and welcome to the uh, workshop. Today we're going to do a little project. So uh, what we've got here is we've got some very old retro joysticks. They're from the Atari 2600. They are the original ones which have the nine pin connector. I have two of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert these to USB so we can then uh, play emulated 2600 games on the PC or Raspberry Pi with the obviously original joysticks. Uh, for this, it's nothing more than I've got a had a board made up. We've got two PCB mounted nine pin sockets, and we have a Pro Micro. Even though when I plug these ones into the computer, it comes up as Leonardo. It doesn't matter. It still works. So let's get these retro sticks out of the way. And let's start to create these. First of all, let's heat the iron up. And I think I will put it there. Get these out of the packet. All right, that's just junk. Right, here's the board. It is a double sided board. Nothing much on this side. A bit of writing on that on this side. Four screw holes. Um, maybe it might uh, lend itself to like a 3D printed case. That I don't know. All right, what's the easiest way of doing this? Okay, yeah. What I'm going to try and do is put the pins in and then stick them, not stick them, but use a bit of blue tack. Actually, mine's white and pink mm, I'm going to use the white and just try and hold it in place while I'll do the first couple or should I say initial solder joints and then we can go around and do the rest so let's try and Stick these just a bit in place there. Okay. Right, it's all done. Might be a tad boring, really, because I'm just soldering pins. Clean the iron, hopefully, it's hot enough. Once this is done, we will program it up and then test it. Let's get one lot done. Okay, let's just try and flip this. Sort of the Arduino now. Right, now we can get rid of the sticky stuff. Sort of the rest.
Again, one side of the Adreno down. Now, while I'm doing this, I am thinking about maybe selling these uh, PCBs. I have got a small number of them at the moment. Uh, depends if there's any real market for them. I mean, me, myself, I was born in the uh, 70s. And the, uh, the Atari 2600, uh, Commodore 64s and that, were very much in my childhood. Right, we've done that. Now let's just get these in. Should just clip into place. Start off by just getting quite a bit on these uh, ground mounts. Should really have used a bigger iron for these, but I can get away with it. Only just. Okay, a bit more solder required. Let's solder up these uh, nine pin uh, D connectors. Yeah, so let us know in the comments if you know this would be uh, something of interest. Obviously, if not, I won't bother. If it is, what I might do is I might make it a an item in my shop. Actually, it is an item in my shop, but I've got it marked down as a sold out at the moment. Right, that's good. What I will do is. Just trim these off. Okay, and that's that completed. Now it's at time to program this thing. Right now, can I find a lead big enough so I can? Uh, Get it on camera. That's not big enough. Extension, I wonder if that'll work. So I'm talking as as usual. Let me just let me just plug this in, see if it actually identifies itself. So you may hear my computer bleep. I'm plugging it in the right way as well. Okay, looks like we may be in business. Now one of these joysticks, the up doesn't work. I can't remember which one it is, but at the moment, this is obviously not programmed. So let me flick over and show you how to program it. Okay guys, well, I've opened up the Aldrino IDE. I'm using a 1.8.8. Right, first thing I need to do, which you, won't be, you probably won't be able to see me do, because uh, my video editing won't show you the windows. I'm going to set the COM port, actually the COM port is right, COM port 13, Adreno. Leonardo as it says down the bottom here uh, this sketch I actually found online in fact all I've changed is these which are the uh, 
the pin uh, the, the pin numbers of the Arduino which relates to the these up the top here are the uh, nine pin connectors obviously obviously this is port one and port two so we've got two ports uh, not to if I scroll across uh, one to nine and these are the associated pins that is connected so you could actually uh, wire this up without a printed circuit board and if all goes well if I just hit the upload this will hopefully upload to the Arduino it's just compiling its sketch at the moment okay and it's there it goes and the code is now in the Arduino so the Arduino is now programmed it thinks it's a two port Atari to USB adapter right what I can do let's close that window and let's connect the joystick to port 1 Right, we're connected to point, port one. Uh, the device is connected to my computer. So if I hit the start button in Windows and type joystick, I get set up USB game controllers. All right, so I've done that. Let me just uh, get it so you can see the window. make it visible okay comes up with this as you can see here here's the two ports now if I go to properties and I do a bit more let's just change this window to the properties window so you can now see the properties of port 1 which we plugged into so I'm just gonna press a button and move the stick around and hopefully this should be all good uh, pressing button up down left right okay we know that's good uh, I ain't gonna show you port 2 is exactly the same and uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It's, it's exactly the same, so there's no point in me showing you. But if I clicked on the, uh, if I clicked on that and properties again, then it would do exactly the same for the other pool. Right now we have this. We have the eight bit uh, Atari two six hundred joystick connected via USB to our computer or Raspberry Pi stroke retro Pi we can now fire up our favorite emulator whether it be the 2600 emulator a stellar or a, you know Commodore 64 emulator or anything that used the nine pin Atari standard we can utilize this so let me just find my so I'm going to do start. Let's type in Stella. Obviously, you have to download the, this yourself. And let me just. I do have a single ROM on my computer, but I'll find out which I actually found for testing. Right, I've got that. Let me just see if I can change my capture window okay there's my capture window but you can't it's taking up everything like can I make that smaller let me shrink it okay 
Right, so that's Stella running. And my joystick next to it. Let me uh, have a bash. Let me just grab the controller. Let's sit down and let's uh, see what we do. Press the star button. Okay, it's looking good. Excuse the horrible noise. And this is the joystick, which I said the up doesn't work. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Let me swap over joystick. Okay. I need to fix that one. Maybe in another video. No, this must be the good one. Plugged in. Yeah, this is the good one. Horrible things. Oh. And as you see, I'm still as bad at this game as I was at, uh, back in the day. But there you go, that's a quick build. Let's just close that. Uh, as I said, I have produced a few of these boards. I don't know if they're going to be sellable or not. Uh, I have got them listed in my shop. Uh, they might have sold out at the moment, but if it's of interest, you know, just the printed circuit board, or maybe even, you know, the complete kit, maybe that would be of more interest. Uh, maybe, you know, the whole lot built and programmed, so it's just plug and play. Let me know. I mean, if there's no interest at all, I've, obviously I'll just use this for me uh, own benefits. But, I mean, if it is useful then let me know. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm hoping to do more and more and more. If anyone's got any ideas of uh, a topic, a subject or something to do for a video, then let me know. Uh, I, I always uh, struggle to find content really, which I think people would be interested in. Uh, I mean, this there's probably people between the ages of 40 and 50 that would find this uh, interesting that uh, younger than that uh, I don't think they would be quite in the 8-bit era uh, maybe older than 50 maybe but yeah so this is definitely for those people that were are about 40 to 50 years old and they want to relive their youth on a modern day computer with the uh, retro hardware I mean, some of you may have the Retro Pi, which I see no reason why this shouldn't work. And I will find out in a few days because I know someone that's uh, I've given one of these to and he's going to have a bash on the Retro Pi. So you let me know next week if they're good on that. But any ideas of any videos and that, just drop us a comment. It doesn't have to be actually on a video. You can send me an email and I will consider it. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we're going to get a few more videos than we've done in the past going. And uh, catch you all later. Many thanks.